we're gonna take a look at my top three top water baits for muskies. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and on today's video, we are going to take a look at my top three, maybe four, top water musky baits. Now we've got the Chicago Musky Expo coming up. All these baits you'll be able to find in the Chaos Tackle booth, so let's just jump right in. The first bait we're gonna take a look at is this little guy. It's called a Big Mama Bubba. This is a walk the dog top water you know your typical kind of hot dog with a couple hooks on it type of bait and this is an amazing little walk the dog I really like it for a couple reasons and we'll go over those it is relatively short compared to most walk the dog baits most walk the dogs are probably eight inches give or take um, the reason I like this smaller size is when I go to northern Wisconsin and I'm fishing bodies of water that maybe have slightly smaller muskies in them um, this is a perfect size. If I'm on Eagle Lake and I'm fishing where there are giant muskies, this seems to be the perfect size. If it's late in the fall, early in spring, so this is an all size fish, all year round bait for me. So one of the things I like about this being a shorter bait and a little bit thicker around is that it stays on top of the water and it doesn't dive. I've got a couple of top water baits that are decent, but they tend to dig a little bit and get under the water, especially if you get into some waves. This thing is nice and buoyant enough because there's uh, you know a lot of wood there and it keeps it up on top of the water. I like that about it. And this is not a really far side to side glide type of top water. I know those can be effective. The thing I like about this little guy is I don't even have to work this with the the tip of the rod. I don't I don't have to pop the rod like this. I can reel like forward and back, forward, back, using nothing but the reel to make this pop back and forth. And it does have a it's got a nice tight little walk. You can give it a little bit of time to let it glide a little bit more, but I really like to pop it back and forth and work it pretty fast. So uh, it it's a little bit different looking than most of your typical longer walk the dog style baits and I don't know maybe it's a confidence thing I mean we all know confidence is key in musky fishing I have all the confidence in the world in these little guys and uh, this year on Eagle Lake gave me even more of that and uh, we'll take a look at one of those fish right now here we go here we go got him got him All right, here we go, Jim. Here we go, here we go, right here. Right here, right here. Nope, 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 nope. We'll swing around, we'll swing around. Okay. 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 Another. Oh, man. Another. Beautiful Eagle Lake Muskie. Not as big as the last one, but still a solid, solid fish. 46. My goodness, what a morning. A 46 and a 49. All right, you can't talk top water without talking about a tailspin bait like this. I know, this one's a little beat up. There's definitely prettier versions of this, uh, but the fact that it's so beat up means that it's caught a lot of fish, and I've used it a lot, and there's just something about the sound that this particular one makes that I really like, and I will probably use this until it is nothing but a bunch of splinters. Um, caught a ton of fish on this. Again, this is a smaller sized bait, similar to that Bubba, but it has big fish catching potentials. Again, I can take this up to northern Wisconsin and throw it on small lakes with smaller muskies. I can take this on Eagle Lake and catch four footer 
plus size fish on this guy. This is the little sister, the big mama little sister, and it is an amazing little bait. Like I said, it's got the pop of a really big, you know, maybe out to here, uh, the typical size you'd see with a tail bait like this, and a nice small little package. Cast like a bullet. Uh, the castability of, of the Bubba and this bait are just amazing. They, they go like a rocket. You can practically cast your the, the line off your spool. So um, castability is amazing. They work awesome. This, you know, just your typical pop, 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 pop. You can bend the fin a little bit and tune it to get the right sound that you want but I really like and this is a bigger fin for the body size of this bait so again big pop in a small package I love the little sister this is a heck of a little pike bait too for you guys that maybe not, don't do as much musky fishing but go up to Canada northern Wisconsin and do some pike fishing so uh, same with the Bubba these two are also amazing trophy pike baits and just to show you that it does catch some big fish here's a nice four footer from Eagle Lake Okay, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. She just got me down here. She's a little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay, she's heading this way. I'll try to. Ready? Okay, yep. <sighs> okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm turn around. Here we go, here we go. Oh boy, no. Okay. Head first, there we go, there we go. That's a big one, Brian. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. We got ourselves a nice, nice big Eagle Lake fish. We're gonna get her back in the water. 48 and a half inches. Yep. Keep an eye on her, but wow. All right, number three on the list is the obnoxious bee. Named because it is obnoxious in the water. You've got a lot of stuff going on with this style of bait. Uh, this is a typical, let's see, we'll, we'll compare it to the little sister. So you can see there's a little bit extra length on this guy compared to the little sister so more your standard size uh, tail prop bait but if you look there's a jitterbug front to it this thing is very dynamic in the water so not only do you have the pop 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 of the tail bait but this jitterbug um, fin on the front not only makes it go side to side but sort of gives it the entire bait a roll and it just it throws water everywhere this is a big fish bait. I had know of a lot of 50 plus inch fish. Um, up to 53 that I know of. I'm sure guys out there have caught bigger ones than that. But this is just an amazing bait. It moves big fish uh, quite consistently, especially up on those uh, shield lakes like Eagle Lake. But I also know guys in northern Wisconsin that do quite well with this bait when maybe the other baits aren't working maybe they want something that's a little bit uh, uh, more out there and in your face this also does work really well in a little bit of a chop so it doesn't have to be dead calm or anything for you to use this bait one thing you do have to do is give it enough speed i know a lot of guys want to work it slow because of this jitterbug uh, front end to it but to get the tail working at the same time as the 
front end, you do have to, sometimes I'll just give the reel a little bit of a pop, get things going, and once you find the right speed, this thing is dynamite. So there you have it, there's my top three, but I did say we might have a bonus one. Now, this is not a topwater bait per se. This is a Shadillac from Chaos Tackle, so it's more your swim bait, crank bait type of thing going on here. But you can turn this into an amazing, amazing topwater bait. And it's as easy as, let me see if I can do this here, the lip on these just pops out if you put enough pressure to them. There we go. Okay. All right, so you can get the lip out fairly easily. And it, by, you know, if you do break one of these little tabs off here, they sell spare lips. But what I would consider doing, if you think this is a good idea, is to buy a couple extra lips just in case, or maybe just buy one of these and use it as a dedicated top water. So what you've got now is a floating bait that has no lip to pull it down. So what it does is it just snakes along the top of the water. If you keep your rod tip up a little bit, it just wakes the top of the water. So those nice calm nights, that last half hour, that sort of golden hour of top water fishing, this is amazing. Um, I've not used it enough to get fish on it. That's why I'm sort of putting it in here as a little bit of a bonus, but I always have it uh, just in case we want to go back on a fish, give them something different to look at if they're sick of looking at the typical walk the dog or prop style top water baits. Uh, this is something to consider and I think I've got a little bit of footage that we can throw in here so you can see what it looks like working through the water. But uh, yeah, I, I know one of these days something's going to crush this sucker. So this one's one to play around with a little bit. Like I said, if you don't, if you don't like it as a top water, you can always throw the lip back in and boom, you've got a crankbait back. All right, folks. Well, I hope that was helpful. Top water fishing is some of the most fun type of fishing that you can possibly do. It is absolutely amazing when you can get a nice big muskie to blow up on one of these things and capture it. And uh, there's nothing like it on the face of the planet as far as I'm concerned. So if you're interested in these baits, I will leave a link to Chaos Tackle. They'll be on the website. If you're going to the Muskie Expos, if you're watching this in front of all the Muskie Expos coming up in 2023, uh, I'll be at a couple of the, let's see, Chicago, Milwaukee, Pennsylvania, and Wausau. Uh, they'll also be at Minnesota, Ohio, I believe, and maybe New York. So. Look for the Chaos Tackle booth if you're looking for these baits. Uh, if you're one of the shows where I'm at, please come over and say hi. Uh, I'd love to talk to you. So with that, that's the video for this week. I appreciate every single one of you watching this, and I will see you on the next video.